Hi there, today I'm happy to share with you a really nice original condition 1978 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40 that we just finished preparing for sale. It's a really nice virginal truck, so let's take it out and I'll show it off to you in really thorough detail. We found this truck up in Northern California where it had been since new, hence the original blue and gold California 70s license plates, which are really cool to have. When we bought the truck, uh, it was running and driving well. It had been sitting a fair bit. It had been repainted one time since new, but with no considerable body repairs whatsoever. Uncut rear fenders, no rust, original panels throughout. and. Um, then we got into it and we did one of our stage one restorations because we thought the quality of this truck certainly deserved it. I'll go into a little bit more detail about our stage one uh, repair processes. Um, we're quite unique in the market uh, in that we don't just buy them, shine them, and flip them. Unfortunately, it seems to me as these trucks have started their stratospheric rise in values, we get a lot of uh, opportunistic people who put lipstick on a pig and throw it up and say it's just like new or just like a TLC truck. But we take it a lot farther than that and we're, we're very proud about that fact. So stage one starts with us taking the truck out and simply driving it and making notes about things that are immediately evident that we know can be better. We then put the truck through two to three day inspection process based on a 30 some page list designed specifically for the FJ40. Jay, my service manager, then sits down and reviews those results and compares them with the factory specs and tolerances for the truck. So it's not about does it run, turn, stop, and do the headlights work? It is a far more uh, detailed inspection. The idea being, you know, the trucks are, are, are pretty old, so uh, it's kind of time at this age to really comprehensively comb through them, give them a new lease on life, and get them back on the road again with confidence. So with this truck, here's the body work, or at least the highlights of the body work that we decided uh, to do. Um, we replaced the radiator, the water pump, the thermostat, all its gaskets, the fan belts, and the hoses as needed. We tore the front axle assembly down to the housing and fully rebuilt it. So Burfield seals, knuckle bearings, uh, new rotors, new clips, new pads, all the way through. The rear axle uh, did not need nearly as much work, fortunately. So there we simply removed the brake drums, cleaned the brake assemblies, and put new OEM wheel cylinders in it. Back in the front, we did all new uh, steering assembly, OEM, so new arms and ends, and rebuilt the center relay box. We removed the transmission and transfer case. We fully rebuilt the clutch. We replaced the throwout uh, bearing as well, uh, pressure plate, the whole party, and we resurfaced the flywall. While it was down, we went ahead and rebuilt the transmission and transfer case, as well as the drive shafts with new OEM um, U-joints, and then had those balanced. Um, back to the motor, we did a full factory tune, we did a new oil pan gasket, new oil pan, and oil and filter obviously, again using a factory filter. We also replaced the driver's door window regulator, and we restored the fuel gauge back to factory spec. It had an aftermarket went in, but it was a simple fix, so took care of all that stuff. The upholstery on the truck is original and in excellent shape. The dash pad does have a crack on it and has a slip cover on top of it, but it's perfectly presentable. Headliner has been restored and done well. Uh, seat belts are the three point in the front, lap in the rear, so all factory there. That cheesy vintage uh, cassette player does not work, but we left it because it was prettier than an uh, ugly hole in the dash, and we don't have that uh, block off plate. Those are really rare nowadays. We do believe that the miles on this truck are original. Uh, we're judging that based on what we were told by the seller and by the general conditions of the truck. Odometer reading currently is 74,358 and change. 
We don't have any documentation to support that, but that's our belief. Uh, stock heater assembly, stock floor mat. Um, the rear cargo floor is all original sheet metal. The whole truck's original sheet metal, but that rear cargo floor has been uh, repainted over the years, which is actually a good thing. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Stock steering wheel and horn button, unmolested and really happy. There's some good touch-up paint in the center console. The factory uh, lug wrench and jack tools are with the truck, which is really cool. And the wheels, hubcaps are all dead stock. And really, this vintage FJ, that's, that's really where you want to be. That's the optimum, I think, and the market thinks, is an original condition truck that doesn't have to tell any stories or excuses for what it is. So is this truck fully restored? No. What this truck is, is a really nice original truck, known history since day one, that has been really preserved and then mechanically combed through in high detail. So uh, if you want to take it up a notch, we're certainly here and capable of doing that. So if you want to add modern audio, nav, Bluetooth, power steering, AC, polyurea coating on the floor, or restore it as new, have at it. But I think this truck is a really good example of a truck that's good to go and should provide reliable service just as it is. So any further questions, please pick up the phone and call us at 818-280-3330. Or visit our website for more details and tons of stills at tlc4x4.com. Um, we're approaching 20 years in business as the foremost uh, restoration sales and service spot for classic land cruisers and you're welcome to visit us we're in chatsworth california we ship national and internationally and that's my whole story so thanks again for bearing with me i know i'm not quite the cinematographer but uh hey i should at least get a b for effort right started investing in more gear so trying to get my game on each one i hope to make a little bit better thanks again for your time